I've got a battery tester here and today I was trying to run something and it wasn't working. Pulled the batteries out, put the batteries in the tester and the tester said the batteries were fine. So like in this particular case, which this is a popular tester you can get on Amazon or eBay and you put it on across the terminals and it's reading 1.49 volts which is great I mean a battery normally should be about 1.5 if it's healthy but the problem is this tester is not testing the battery under any sort of a load without a load you're not getting a realistic idea if this battery is healthy when you put this battery in a toy maybe it's a mechanized toy with a motor for example there's going to be a fairly decent load on the battery and in this particular case this battery is actually dead it wasn't good in the toy it wouldn't run it so I took the tester apart there's just two Phillips screws in the back here that you take out the back comes off very easily and this has to stay connected because of this blue wire it's going to the circuit board well there's plenty of room in here where we can solder a resistor to the negative and to the positive of the battery. And by putting a resistor across the negative and the positive, we can create a load and simulate a load so that we'll get a better idea if the battery is actually healthy or not. So I didn't have exactly what I wanted in my resistor junk box. So I came up with two 10 ohm resistors and I joined them together to make it a 5 ohm. And with a 5 ohm I found that gives me a much better idea if the battery is healthy or not. Because this battery, as I just showed, with no load is reading about 1.49 volts. But with a 5 ohm resistor in there the battery was reading about I believe 1.19 1.2 volts and that times the number of batteries that was in this particular toy um, it wouldn't work so I'm just going to show soldering this in there and then we're going to retest this and see if we can get this battery tester to be more accurate Okay, just to confirm, I've got my two 10 ohm resistors. I'm going to put it on my ohm meter. And it's showing 5.1. So that's close enough, about a 5 ohm resistor. So we're going to solder this in and see how this goes. Okay, so I soldered the resistors. I followed the positive lead which is this blue wire going to the corner of the circuit board here and the black lead to the terminals that test the uh, D cells, C cells, AA or AAA. The 9 volt is a separate lead. I am not going to put the 9 volt under a load. Putting a 5 ohm load on a 9 volt battery is, is too much of a load. Um, and I, I don't test a lot of 9 volt batteries, so I'm not too worried about that. My main concern is the, the cylinder cells. So we're going to try this out and see how this works. Okay, so let's test this battery under a load now. We've got this all sealed up. Screws are back in. And under a load, the battery is showing 1.16 volts. You should not leave it under a load for more than two or three seconds. That'll give you a very accurate number. And now I have my multimeter here set to voltage. And as an example, the multimeter is basically what this battery tester was doing before we put the resistors in. It's reporting 1.47 volts or 1.48 volts if you round up, which is inaccurate. This is not going to give you an idea that this battery is not healthy and it's not going to work in the average uh, toy or whatever you're running the, the battery in. Now to show you another example, let's take a healthy battery. This is a brand new battery. 
let's put it on the multimeter. And it's reporting 1.6 volts. Now let's put it on the battery tester, which has got a good load. And under a load, it's reporting 1.55. So that's good. We know that this battery is good under a load. So I hope that helps in understanding why you need to put some sort of a load on a battery. And now you can take one of these inexpensive uh, testers, get a resistor or get two resistors if you've got something lying around. And they're not very expensive. Resistors are very inexpensive. If you've got some soldering skills, you can solder one into this and have a much more better idea of how healthy your batteries are.